Hello, everyone. My name is Clint. And my name is Seth. And Clint and I are part of the sales team here at Liberty Systems. And today we are going to be comparing the Zebra MC9300 with the Zebra MC3300. And Seth, the reason why we're looking at these two devices today is because if you're looking at a Zebra device, if you're looking at a warehouse handheld, you're more than likely looking at one of these two. I mean, they are two of the most popular warehouse devices in the industry right now. Um, so let's just kind of start it off. I mean, when you're talking to customers about some similarities between these two, you know, what are you talking about first? Yeah, the first thing I'm talking about is both of them are gonna be offered in either a standard or a long range scan engine. So the long range will scan all the way up to 70 feet. And then the standard range is gonna go about two feet, about an arm's length. Um, the long range is important if you need to be scanning to the tops of racks from like a forklift, or if you have location placards with barcodes um, up on the hanging from the ceiling, being able to scan that 30, 40, 50 plus feet uh, is, is a really important thing. In addition, both of them are gonna come with a variety of different keypad options depending on what your specific need is. Mm -hmm. And then finally too, big similarity, they both run that Android operating system uh, paired with Zebra's ecosystem. Yeah, maybe let's talk about that a little bit. I mean, we hear a lot about, you know, this ecosystem that Zebra has, right? This suite of applications, you know, maybe talk about that a little bit. What are those? What do they do? Yeah, a couple of ones to mention in that, it would be like a push to talk. So basically what that does is it allows you to uh, take away the walkie talkie and do communication from device to device. Another one would be um, stage now. And what that is, is it allows you to basically scan a barcode and then it push out, pushes out a configuration to the device you know, within seconds. Wow, okay. So I've kind of talked a little bit about the similarities here. Clint, what are you talking about if we're looking at the biggest differences? Yeah, I think you know when I'm talking with my customers, I mean, obviously the, the first main difference you see right away is the size difference. Uh, you know, the MC93, it's, it's much bigger. It has a larger screen, um, has larger keypad and larger keys, mm -hmm. um, where obviously the 3300 is a little bit smaller a little bit lighter weight, um, but there's a reason for that. I mean, the 93, it's, it's purpose-built for those harsher environments, so you can drop it, you can bang it around, it's gonna withstand those drops. Whereas the 33, maybe it isn't purpose-built for those most rugged environments, mm -hmm. but you know it's still gonna be meant for those maybe light warehouse use retail type processes. Sure, you kind of hit on a little bit, but what are the drop specs on these? Yeah, so the 93 is that 10 foot drop spec. So that's actually the highest in the industry. Oh. Um, you can actually throw a rubber boot on this device too to even you know up that drop spec a little bit more. Um, the 33, it has the six foot drop spec, but same thing with like the 93, you can put a rubber boot on it. Mm -hmm. It increases that drop spec to eight feet. Now it's a little bit more purpose built for the warehouse. Great. Um, you know, and a lot of questions I get when we're in the warehouse, Seth, is, you know, hey Clint, does it matter what kind of application I'm using? Should that dictate what device I'm looking at? No, it shouldn't dictate which device you're looking at if you're solely basing it off which application. So whether you're coming from a, maybe an older Windows legacy unit running terminal emulation, that's gonna work great on either of these. If, you're, mm -hmm. if you need to download a, a native Android application, both are gonna work well, um, as well as a web-based client as well. So. Um, with that, I will say if you're using a web-based client, sometimes a little bit bigger screen, which comes on the MC9300, might be um, something to consider just because the rendering can come across a little more clear and a little bit more of a friendly interface with a larger screen if using a web-based app. Okay. Um, and let's say, for example, I am going to be using that web-based app, right? And I'm going to be using the 9300. Obviously, larger has that bigger screen, bigger display. Mm -hmm. Am I going to be burning through a lot more battery using the 93 over the 33? No, you're really not. So both of these devices are also going to come with really high-powered batteries. Uh, they're going to last up to 20 hours per charge. Um, so, you know, if you're running like an overnight shift, multiple shifts, 24-7 operation, both of these are going to have power to withstand that. Um, they also both are hot swappable batteries too. So if your device's battery is getting low and you just swap it out, you can pull that battery out. The device it actually isn't going to power down. It's going to stay powered up until you put that new um, battery in, then you'll be set to go for another shift. Well, great. Um, and, you know, unless there's anything else you know you want to talk about, I think that pretty much kind of covers the, yeah. the main differences and similarities at least. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, just know that you know, we thank you for watching the video. If you're watching just for educational purposes, please feel free to subscribe and watch other videos like this. However, if you are in the process of either comparing these two devices or any other handheld devices for your warehouse, 
please reach out to Liberty Systems. We would love to have a conversation and help guide you through the journey of finding the best device for your organization.